It is time for Value This with Dr. Lori. Here's Dr. Lori. Uh, <laughs> you know, we've got a great show coming up, and it's it's it may not be Christmas, but boy, it sure is here. Buyer's choice. Learn how to display your collectibles. Well, this is uh, this is quite a controlled Christmas scene, but it's unbelievable, Dr. Right, Lori. That's right. It really is. We're here at Buyer's Choice in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and this is the display, one of the many displays at the Visitor Center here. I've never seen carolers with their mouths open who are so quiet. <laughs> I, they're very quiet I right now. I love that. They're, they're, they're really talented. They really do look like they're singing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the point of today's Value This with Dr. Laura is to talk about, I mean, obviously these are collectibles. That is why Buyer's Choice is in business and has been for 40 some odd years. And so many people have these little carol, uh, carolers and they've got various faces and right. that sort of thing. How do you, how do you display this? Uh, can somebody at home ever really master well, this these are obviously master designs right? right so these are made by people whose expertise is in making exhibition designs museum designs so sure you could build a piece like this and do a little bit of craft work but what you want to think about is how do you basically display your collection you could display it on shelves you can display it in a curio cabinet you could do it all different ways but there are certain things that speaking as a museum a museum professional that you can actually say i can display in certain ways by color, by material, by category, by size. Okay, let's start with color. Okay. By color, it's not like, oh, let's just put all the red ones in, in, a, in a room. No, not necessarily, but if you have a color scheme for a particular room and you want to add your collectibles to that particular room, what you can do is use your color wheel, right? Your Roy G. Biv color wheel. And basically you can say, well, I want to make some, I want to add something to my red room. Well, I might add something green. And the reason for that is if you look at the color wheel, red and green are diagonal from one another on the color wheel. They're called complementary colors and they're colors that go well together. And they blue stimulate. and yellow must be another two that Another two that. that go well together, right. for example. Okay. okay. So think about that, that idea when it comes to color, because color is the easiest one to do. Size is easy too. All the small things together, all the big things together, because then big things don't overwhelm small things if you put them together. And so, groups of three, I think you've said before. Groups of three is always a good idea because the law of thirds, we like to see things in thirds like the Holy Trinity, like, you know, the three graces, that kind of thing. Also remember material. You might want to put all of your plaid carolers together, right? Or you might want to think about everybody in a, in a red sweater together. So think about the categories, right? And here at Buyer's Choice, you know, they have a lot of categories of carolers. They have the ones that relate to Dickens stories. They have the ones that are just sort of, you know, in the Bucks County landscape, they have Santa Claus, whatever you might have. So think about categorizing your collectibles, whether it's Wedgwood China or, you know, carolers, just depends. Okay, and what if you just have one of something that you really like? Then make it fantastic, <laughs> right? Just make it fantastic. And people go, what do you mean, Lori? Well, I want you to focus on that. So maybe you add a tricycle, or maybe you add a crate, or maybe you add some, you know, uh, buckets full of strawberries, whatever it might be, but focus on that. Make that the star. D yeah, d don't go meek into the no, night. Like, no, like, oh, I'm going to put it in this little corner. Yeah. Oh, no, one sees only it. have one. If you only have one and you're just starting your collection. Like I have one of these. I have one of these and it's fantastic. <laughs> you know, that's what you want to do. And you want to think about that with collectibles. But collectibles really, by the virtue of its title, you're collecting more. Okay. How do you keep these so that you don't get uh, whatever your collectible is, if it's got any cloth on it, and all of a sudden, oh, the mouse really enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> right, you know? right, right. A little nibble on it. Yeah, on exactly. Coat. Well, I like plastic tubs. Remember, don't store anything in attics or basements. Art and antiques like to live where you like to live, right? They like to be on main areas of your floor. They like to be out in the air on display, right? So is it better to just keep them out all year behind a sheet somewhere? It's a good idea. No, it's good to put them in a tub, a plastic tub, and then you place them upright for the carolers anyway. You want to have them standing up. And that's true for lots of pieces that you might have. If you have, you know, Yadro figurines or if you have Hummel figurines, upright is better than laying them down. Really? Yes. But you want to make sure that you wrap them in tissue paper, right? And then you place them with dividers inside a plastic tub. Remember, plastic tubs, if they're stored in your basement, it's a cool place. Make sure it's dry. And if God forbid there is a flood or you have a little bit of water in the basement, the plastic tubs don't attract uh, bugs and will repel the water. Whereas if you have a cardboard box or a crate, 
that water is going to get into that cardboard box and okay. ruin your pieces. Yep, I totally get it. And real fast, just on the on the plastic, I know you said with glass cur curio cabinets, you got to open them because they get so hot. That's right. You don't want heat. That's what you're trying to avoid. You don't want heat or dirt. Okay, but you don't have to open up the, the plastic containers nope. every so often. You okay. don't. You don't. Just at Christmas time, and then when you go, oh, we've got to put all these away. Yeah. Which is always the big chore after Christmas. But the display is fun. Yes, People it love is it. fun. It is and fun. They love it. And try to add a little bit of accessories. Try to do it by by category or by size or by color, and you'll have a great display too. And if you have one, you make that thing live. Yeah. There you go. All right, girl. <laughs> uh, DrLaurieFee.com. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.